Hey, dude. Hey, man, how's it going? Pretty good. So it's burger night, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> did you make yours at home? I did. Um, where'd you get the meat? I got it from the farmer's market down the street. It's a free-range, grass-fed burger. The cow most likely was raised and fed on a pasture somewhere in New England. Where'd you get your burger? Oh. Um, just from Burger Junkie. That fast food place down the street. Most likely the cow was raised in some big industrial feeding plant somewhere in the U.S. Most likely. I assume that my burger is probably less healthy, but... Is yours more eco-friendly than mine? Actually, mine is more eco-friendly than yours. Really? How come? Well, if yours was raised on a big industrial feedlot, yeah. it was fed corn, among other things. Mm, corn. Why is that less eco-friendly? Cows aren't supposed to digest corn. Cows have one of the most highly evolved, highly specialized animal organs on Earth. The rumen. The rumen is one of the few organs that can digest cellulose found in grass. So cows have stomachs that are highly specialized to digest grasses. But in the feedlots, they're fed corn, which they aren't really supposed to eat. Hmm. So why do they feed the cows corn? Won't they just get sick? Well, they feed cows corn because it makes them fatter quicker. But really, all of the cows in the feedlot are actually sick. Sick. So this meat, this meat is from a sick cow? Ugh, that's gross. Well, not exactly. Since they can't feed the cows corn without getting them sick, they, in the feedlots, they have to put a whole lot of antibiotics in with the corn. On the other hand, my cow was fed, for the most part, the natural way, with grass. And so in the end, my cow was treated more eco-friendly than yours. I see. Well, if that's for the cows, what about for the environment? Whose burger is better? The corn used to feed your cow is what is sometimes known as commodity corn. Is it like the corn that you and I eat? Actually, no. It comes in much smaller and condensed hard kernels, which are actually indigestible for humans. This kind of corn is produced in massive monocultures, or large harvests of a single kind of plant. Much of this corn is shipped out to the big feedlots. The corn is harvested using chemical fertilizer, which contains fossil fuels. In one bushel of commodity corn, between one-fourth and one-third of a gallon of oil is used. In an acre of commodity corn, about 50 gallons of oil are used. Plus, the antibiotics they have to give the cows from feeding them corn in the first place also uses up fossil fuels. Hmm. Well, what happens on the pasture, like where your cow came from? If well managed, the pasture is a self-contained ecosystem. After the cow's first bite, the grass sheds as much root mass as it has lost in leaf mass. The discarded roots are broken down by bacteria, fungi, and earthworms into a rich brown hummus. As new leaves grow, the roots grow too, reaching deep into the soil and using that hummus to bring nutrients up to the surface. In the end, the grass converts more sunlight into biomass than it ever would have had it not been eaten by a cow. But what about the fertilizer? Doesn't that use up fossil fuels? Well, the fertilizer in the cornfields is synthesized to reproduce the natural fertilization process. But on the pasture, that original natural process is already taking place. The fertilizer comes straight from the cow. So in the end, you know, as in any system producing root food, relies on the sun for energy. In the industrial system, when your burger, where your burger comes from, Energy from the sun is taken largely from fossil fuels, which is not ultimately sustainable and is actually harmful to the environment. In the pasture system, however, energy from the sun is most likely harvested from the natural process of photosynthesis, and if managed properly, the system is self-contained and sustainable or even beneficial.